Hello everybody, today is May 12th, 2010, and today is a Wednesday, so it's my video day. Sweet. I think in my last video I said that I'd be making a video within one or two weeks, and I think I failed in both of those, so cry me a river. So, I think I have three small things to go over before I go into the main topic of this video. One, the summary from the last video that I made on this channel about taking time off of cubing. The 50% of the people, about 50, I didn't count, so don't quote me on this, whatever. 50% of the people, about 50%, said there was no change when they came back after a break of X number of days. I don't think the length really mattered. I think they came back and they were about the same. 30% said they came back and they were a little faster. And 20% said they came back and they were noticeably uh, slower. Of course, when you stop cubing for three months and you come back, uh, the first few averages you're going to do, you're going to be slower than you used to be. Um, but I was talking about more within, like, the first or f first couple days. Anyway, so, uh, 50 said no change, 30 said positive, 20 said negative. So, that's the split. I think that's pretty interesting results, and, uh, I certainly can understand that. Number two. The contests on this channel, people have been asking me about when they're going to start. All I know is that we have ordered the cubes. I don't know where they're going, I don't know what exactly we got, um, but I do know that we've ordered them. I would tell you if I know, but I don't. Um, and that is not because there's a lack of communication, that is mostly because I don't really need to worry about that at this point. Hopefully competitions will be starting, uh, contests, competitions, whatever you want to call them, will start uh, at the beginning of June, uh, which is when school is out for all of us. Uh, for the 5AC, I guess you could call us, I don't know. Uh, so hopefully by the beginning of June, but it could be later, it could be earlier, who knows, don't quote me on this, this is just a guesstimate. And number three, we are making uh, a change, or multiple changes, to the members of the FAC, 5AC. I'm not going to tell you who, what, when, where, or why, I'm just going to tell you that there may be one or more changes go uh, to the members of this channel. So stay tuned, It might you might like it, who knows. Um, and now the main topic of this video, which is OLLs, PLLs, and algorithms in general. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what my algorithms are for a specific step because they want to learn my whole set. They want to, they want to, they want to know my 21 PLLs so that they can blindly learn them and uh, use those. Now, uh, my opinion on this is I will be making videos at some random point in time, who knows, of the algorithms I use for each set. OLLs, PLLs, whatever. I will be making a video. Uh, of those, but I do not think it is an in a good idea or an intelligent idea to blindly learn those algorithms and just go for it. What I would suggest is that you go to multiple different websites, uh, the main one being the Speed Solving Wiki, which is linked down there, and for each algorithm, for each case, like the T perm, H perm, M perm, and N perm, whatever, there's no M perm, um, for all of, all of the algorithms that you want to learn, there's like four or five different choices. Try through those, work through them, see, you know, the finger tricks here and there, and stuff like that, and uh, see which ones you like best, and learn those ones, and choose your own that fits your cubing style best, rather than just blindly following Lance's website, even though that's a great source for it. Link to his website down there. So, if you say you want to learn OLL, go to the wiki, look through all the OLLs there, uh, under each case, uh, try them out, see which one you like best, and then learn that one, rather than going to someone's website saying, he knows these ones, I'm learning these ones too. Because your cubing style is probably not the exact same as that person, plus you will probably find better algorithms uh, when you choose them yourself. So, I hope you understood all that, I hope that makes sense. Link to the websites I talked about down there. I will see you guys next Wednesday.